Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting and useful video for you guys. Now in this video I will talk about that how you can actually delete the obsolete or old UEFI boot entries. Now what happens when you actually install the operating system, any operating system suppose you have installed suppose Linux or Mac or uh, some Windows operating system and you are using the UEFI firmware. Uh, the modern computers are always have the UEFI firmware. So when you install the operating system, a UEFI boot entry was there, right, to boot the operating system. But when you delete that operating system and suppose uh, uh, you have installed some new operating system, the operating system will go but the bootloader entries remain in the place. So when you actually uh, uh, press the boot key, so you will see that all the uh, bootloaders are there. That means all the boot entries are there uh, which uh, you have previously, uh, previously installed. So how to delete these old or obsolete uh, boot entries from the UEFI BIOS? So in this video, I will talk about. So watch this video till last. This is very, very uh, useful video for you. And if you uh, like the video and if you are new to my channel, then of course subscribe my channel so that you will get notification of my future videos. Lots of interesting videos are coming now. So without further delay, let's jump into our main topic. All right, so you can see this is my laptop and I'm just uh, opening up and this is my Lenovo laptop. So pressing F12 uh, to get the uh, boot entries and you can see a lot of uh, boot options we have and you can see the first of all Garuda Linux and Refine, Debian, Windows and Pop and a lot of other operating system. But currently I have only two operating system installed in my PC. One is Garuda Linux and one is Windows 10. Okay, so all other entries are obsolete. That means I don't have that operating systems. But uh, in spite of deleting those operating system, the UEFI entries are still remaining in my BIOS and those are occupying some space or you can see the look wise it, in, it is not looking good right because those are obsolete and those entries all these entries have no work to do here in my system. So I need to delete uh, these uh, options such as uh, Debian and Pop OS this, this Pop, MX21, Ubuntu, all these things I have to delete. So how uh, will you delete this? So you can easily do that by using a Linux system, either live system or if you have some Linux uh, system in your computer. All right, so we are now currently in Garuda Linux KDE Dragonized Gaming Edition. Okay, but no problem if you have some other Linux distribution, no problem with that. So first of all, you have to install one uh, software or one package called EFI Boot MGR. Okay, and uh, suppose I am opening terminal here. So this is a Garuda Linux operating system. So very eye catching. You can see if you are using some uh, Debian based operating system. So you just type sudo apt install and EFI uh, Boot MGR. Okay, and if you are uh, using some arch based system such as this uh, Garuda Linux, so you can actually uh, go to the Octopi and from this graphical uh, actually um, user interface uh, software center, you can install easily EFI boot MGR, right. So I am I'm, uh, showing you the main page of it. So just uh, I am <coughs> typing EFI boot M gr so this is the manual page here and you can see now you can see that efi boot mgr this is the change uefi boot manager and some options you can see here and also uh, in description you you can read and some options uh, uh, for helping you is available so you can see some options are there so uh, to a to active the uh, one boot partition and inactive the boot partition and uh, boot modify boot number delete boot number okay so all these things uh, you can uh, see basically and uh, create uh, you can create a boot entry in the uefi uh, boot right and delete a boot entry okay i will show you the deleting of uh, the boot entries right and also some information you can see here Right, so a lot of information uh, uh, are here basically. So this is a, that's a great uh, package you can see, and also some example uh, they have given, and so so these things uh, you ca you uh, can see. Okay, so just hit Q, so quit, and so basically I am uh, typing just uh, sudo 
or or if you are uh, using root directory then no use of sudo okay so but i am in a normal shell so just sudo that has been super user do and efi sorry sudo space efi boot mgr right and hit enter and then giving the administrative password and so you can see a lot of thing now just see carefully what are these things so you can see the current uh, boot number is this that means this is my current uh, boot uh, bootloader uh, we are using and and these are boot orders so you can see a lot of bootloaders are installed here but uh, currently i uh, my system only has two operating system there is one is windows 10 and one is garuda linux but all these things i have previously installed all these systems i have previously installed and also deleted those operating systems and you can see a lot of boot entries are still remaining in my bios such as uh, mx linux like, like so grub and debian and pop manjaro pop os 21.7 mx 21 and and this is the garuda garuda is uh, actually i am currently using refined boot manager and also some other things you can see so a lot of boot uh, entries are there in the uefi bios so i have to uh, delete uh, those bios uh, those are obsolete bios or no use of them uh, currently so i have to delete those um, bios or delete those boot entries right so i have to just note the boot entry number that means this boot number suppose 002 003 and these are um, hex code or hexadecimal number this these are not decimal numbers because you can see after 8 9 and then a then b right so these are hexadecimal number so all 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 the bootloaders you can see here whole line okay so suppose i i want to delete this uh, mx right suppose i want to delete this mx uh, uh, that means boot number 2 so what i have to type Oh, and for help you can actually open the man page or you have to just type or you can just type uh, sudo uh, efi boot mgr and then h hyphen h so this will help so all the options you can see uh, from here uh, to help the thing so uh, you will see that uh, how uh, i can select the boot number that is uh, b uh, uh, slash b so select the boot number right and to delete is capital b right so delete uh, boot number so these things i have to do so small b and capital b so first of all uh, just i am seeing that what uh, boot number i have to delete so this is 002 right so triple zero two actually okay but if i type only two that that will be okay no problem with that okay so only type two Okay, so I'm just uh, um, doing that. So just uh, I'm typing sudo efi boot mgr space then hyphen b and then two. Okay, and then hyphen capital B to delete these things. Okay, and if you uh, if you suppose uh, if you want additional information, so just you can uh, space uh, hyphen v for verbose. Verbose means additional information uh, you can see. Okay, and just hit enter all right so you can see a lot of thing here and now all the things are going on and you can see now i think uh, it is deleted right so just uh, just typing the command again so this now i will see that the two the number two is here or not so you can see this is zero one and the two is missing right so you can see also in the in the list you can see that number two is missing that means the number two is deleted so like this uh, i can delete uh, another uh, uh, i can delete more uh, uh, entries right so suppose i have to delete uh, this uh, manjaro and pop os 21.04 so six and seven i have to delete right so i have to just type so six and seven so i am just omitting verbose a okay, lot of things has come so just six and seven so just six and space seven and let's see it's uh, work on it will work or not okay by, uh, by two two boot uh, boot entries i have to delete so just uh, hit enter all right so i think it should be deleted right yeah of course you can see that's uh, okay no 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 
only, only six have been deleted but not seven so you can uh, delete one by one um, and you can delete all the unnecessary uh, bios entries uefi bios entries so uh, this is very simple uh, you know that and uefi boot mgr is a actually free software free package so in, in any uh, Linux distribution, you can easily install it uh, in Debian based or Ubuntu based or uh, 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 Fedora based Linux or Arch Linux such as I'm using right now. So all these things uh, you have to do right this. So uh, tell me in the comments that uh, how much interesting it to you and uh, will it uh, help you actually I think. Uh, and those who are playing with the operating system this will uh, very much help you to clean your pc right and also uh, the the boot information stored in the efi partition that means slash boot uh, slash efi uh, partition right and uh, there uh, also uh, for the each operating system uh, there are folders okay but don't don't uh, delete, uh, delete those uh, folders actually you just do this method to uh, to clean your uh, boot manager or to clean your boot okay so uh, that's all for today's video and uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and of course subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon